Hey, it's Norm from Tested.com, and for today's show and tell, I want to introduce you to a familiar face, an old friend of ours. It's Romo, the smartphone robot. If you've watched uh, some of our old videos, one of the videos we did with Will was uh, based on this. This was the first Romo, the Romo 1.0. It was a Kickstarter launched in 2011, a $150 robot, and it worked with iPhones and Android phones. Um, what you did was you got this kit, has treads or motors on here. It was assembled by the makers. They made about 2,000 of them. And you attach your phone to the top of it, and it connects to the phone via the headphone port. It used analog controls. The, the app that basically ran on the phone pushed sounds out, and then the, uh, the circuit board here heard those sounds and made it walk around, listen to music, do all sorts of fun things. Um, the company that made this released a second version of the Romo last year, also launched through Kickstarter, and that's what we have today. It's the Romo 2.0, and this is the version that works with the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, or an iPod Touch with that 8-pin dock connector. The app is so much improved. There is no Android support, that's a little unfortunate, but it's so much more a self-contained, out-of-box experience, and I've been having a ton of fun with it. I think this is a product that's gonna be really great for kids. Um, so Romo can do a bunch of different things. You download an app from the App Store, you run it on uh, on your iPhone or iPod Touch, plug it into this dock, and it's a really sturdy uh, dock haver here. It's like a tread system. Um, again, there are the two motors and the gearing system in the back. And the app basically runs as the face of the Romo. So if you can see right here, Romo has expressions. If you leave him idle, he'll make so sounds. He's very innocent. There's a whole story behind him. He's like a space robot. Um, and then if you give it to your kids, you can have them learn uh, some basic programming commands. So the early version of the app lets you unlock all of its abilities uh, by running through these commands, running through these lessons. But the new version of the app released just this month actually comes with all the actions unlocked. And I actually prefer for that uh, a lot than having to go through that whole process if you don't want to have to spend two hours running through the lessons. So what can Romo do? Well, you can program it. So what I've done is I've gone into this lab mode and you can queue up uh, a bunch of commands. So I can tell the Romo to react in certain ways uh, when there are certain stimulus. So for example, I can have him uh, make a face when I pick him up off a table, or I can have him you know, run, spin in a circle when I put him down. Uh, when he hears a noise, he basically taps into uh, a lot of the sensors in your iPhone or iPod Touch, including the, the microphone, the camera, um, the accelerometer, and you can tell to give it a whole string of commands. So right now I've, uh, keyed in some commands, and I'm gonna slide the start, so it compiles them, basically teaches your kid a little bit of very, very light programming. And I have the Romo, if I put him down on the table, he'll turn on his light and, let's say, put him down on the table. Oh, he makes a, a noise, um, he says some words, and he spins in a circle. Um, so that part is pretty fun, and you can give it a, a whole string of commands. It can uh, spin, it can go forward, backward. It's something that can work on hardwood floors and carpet. This table is definitely too small, but even a coffee table is a little small because there are no sensors for detecting when it's on the edge. Oh, oh there it goes, spinning around again. It's, it's curious. Um, but you could also control the Romo remotely. So let me put him out of this mode and take him back to the menu. Um, and it can do things like uh, chase a line. So if you use uh, some uh, painter's tape and you draw a, a map on the ground, uh, it can use the camera to recognize that there is a line on the ground that's a different color than the floor, and it'll trace that line. Or it can even recognize colors. So if you have, for example, a tennis ball, I have an, a little Android guy right here, you can put him in front of the Romo and have the Romo follow this character or follow any colors, basically. It also works as a telepresence robot, which is, I think, one of the best features of the Romo. If you have another iOS device, for example, an iPad or another iPhone, you can download the remote control app and you can actually tap into the Romo. So it's gonna dial a very uh, a code that's unique to this robot and it's dialing right now. Let's see if it works. If this works over Wi-Fi, you can actually do it remotely if you're on separate Wi-Fi networks. And it says, I have an incoming call right now. I'm gonna answer the call and let me turn the microphone down. Uh, you can actually see what the Romo is seeing, and you can actually uh, do some commands like move the tilt, move the tilt up and down, and move the Romo around. 
Uh, on local Wi-Fi, it's very responsive. If you're on separate locations, there is a little bit of a delay. Um, if you don't want to use a telepresence mode, you can also just use a straight up remote mode and that lets you access all of the, the sounds and faces on the Romo to scare your dog or cat. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, the Romo uh, has a battery built in. It's rechargeable with a uh, mini USB cable that's included. It lasts about two hours on a full charge. It also will depend on what type of terrain you're running this on. So if you're running this on carpet, it's only gonna last about an hour or an hour and a half. And it takes about six hours to recharge. Uh, you can buy it right now, it's $150, which I think is a pretty fair price for uh, this type of robot. If you get telepresence with it, you will have to use you know, an iPhone or iPod Touch to be its brains. So if you have an extra one around, that's of course much better than if you're using your dedicated phone. Uh, but that's the Romo, I think it's a lot of fun. You check it out on the website. Um, and that's it for this week's show and tell. We now have the first gen Romo and the Romo 2.0. Now I'm gonna look for some dogs to try to scare with the Romo. I'm Norm from Tested. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, Romo. Wave bye. <laughs>